Coming up in today's episode of Chloe Yasmin. sis and welcome back to your girl's channel it is me your girl chloe yasmine in a cut i'm just like <laughs> i don't know where i was going with that but good afternoon everyone and welcome back y'all can't see jordan but he is in the passenger so this is weird i love it i know you do i don't like this <laughs> like i don't mind driving like i like the vibe of me driving on camera it's giving me independent boss vibes <laughs> just driving but hey but um i just don't like driving dudes around well, it's giving i'm being used right now i'm just kidding okay. i'm too much sometimes but yeah he is in the passenger so this is a very different little vibe going on anyways in today's video i am going to be just vlogging my little day or whatever right now i just got done going grocery shopping so i'm gonna show you guys what i got when i get home but right now i am headed to sephora which is on the total opposite side of town it's literally gonna take me like 15 minutes to get to the highway and then on the highway to sephora so annoying because you guys know Sephora is inside of Kohl's and stuff nowadays. So <clears throat> I bought a foundation from a stand up Sephora and I tried to return it to a Sephora in Kohl's, which I guess I can't do. I could only return the concealer that I got in a Kohl's. <laughs> I'm so annoyed. Basically, my brother had a fight this weekend, right? And I really wanted my foundation color to match my skin because my BB creams just don't. They have like a really weird, like purpley kind of tint to them and I never match. I always be looking crazy by the face. So, I go in there. I heard so many great things about Fenty Beauty, the foundation, so I get matched. I buy the foundation. Um, it's like two or three hours before the fight. I start doing my makeup little circles start popping up on my face like the foundation is not sticking to my skin then it started to crease and then what two hours later i literally had no makeup right here all of this was just completely smudged and wiped off i looked like a clown on top of that they did not match my shade right so it was like too pale makeup fail i cried i've been crying a lot lately i don't know why but i feel like it's good for me because i'm happier and i just i get over things faster when i cry there's a reason why god gave us tears you know <clears throat> tears but so i'm headed to sephora right now so i can return the foundation because i just returned the concealer the concealer dried out my under eyes so bad had them burning and it creased really bad now there might be something that i'm missing like a primer or other things but there were a lot of reviews that said the same exact thing as me that it was way too dry for their skin it started to get patchy my mouth is getting dry so i'm starting to sound weird so but i got this little big b pineapple energy drink they just came out with it tastes really good i don't know why i got boba i'm starting not to become a fan of boba anymore i just ain't really with the jump no anyway so yeah i'm vlogging but currently headed to sephora so i can return that foundation i hope i made sense if you buy something at a Kohl's Sephora, you have to return it to a Kohl's Sephora. If you buy something at a stand-up Sephora, you have to return it to a stand-up Sephora. So I'm going to go return this foundation and I'm going to find a new foundation. The lady at the other Sephora that I just left, she did match me, but I don't think it's completely my shade. But I'm still going to buy it at this other Sephora, so we're going to have to see. And then, I'm going to put away my groceries. My mama cooked some food. You hear me? Mm -hmm. My mom cooked us some steak, rice, and broccoli. So we're going to go over there and eat. I haven't showered today, so I'm going to go home and I'm going to go ahead and shower. And I'm going to use my new St. Bart's products. Girl! Mm. Way came out with some St. Bart's tropical, fruity, coconutty body care. And so I'm going to go ahead and shower up and get my little hygiene groove going. And then tonight, when you go to work and Brent goes to practice, my mom and I are going to go out and we're going to go buy perfume. My mom and I are going to have some mommy and me time and I'm going to take her to Macy's and I'm going to get her a perfume. Y'all know I can't really film at Macy's though. Macy's makes it clear. I respect them for it. They have on their doors that you cannot film or take pictures in Macy's. Like they have that on their door. Instead of making it like not obvious, they make it very obvious like you can't be doing that up in here. So I respect it as long as you let a sister know at the door. 
just like Target. They have it now to where if you ain't got no service animal, they cannot be in the store. And y'all know I used to bring my little locket up in the store, which was perfect timing because by the time she could stay home, they had put the sign up. So it was perfect, girl. It was perfect though. And my dogs got boarded for the first time this weekend. They got boarded and groomed. So by the time they came back, they looked so cute. But they got boarded. And when I tell y'all, Every single time I take my dogs somewhere, people just talk so highly about them. Everybody was picking up their dogs for boarding. She just had to make it clear that my dogs were like so amazing. She was like, your dogs are so sweet. They're so cute. They're just overall just amazing. Like they're so fun to have here. I'm like, what? Same thing with the vet. They always just make it so clear. They're my favorite. Like they're great. So yeah, I'm a good dog mom. <laughs> I'm a strict dog mom, but I'm a good dog mom. Anyway, girl, I'm headed to Sephora. So let's go make this return. Okay, I am now out of Sephora. I look so much better in the passenger seat. The lighting is better, girl. I'm meant to be in the passenger seat. Mm -hmm. Okay, y'all, look at my handsome fiance. He got his little hair cut. He actually moisturized his skin today for the first time in years. Yeah, I've been getting back into it, and it just like makes me, it reminds me like, it feels so much better and it looks better. Yeah, it does like look better. That, so I gotta start doing it again. You look clean and healthy when you're all moisturized and shiny. Thank you. I know some people like the matte look, but the shiny look just looks super clean and like refreshed to me. Like the dewy look, shall I say. Mm -hmm. One thing I cannot stand about going into Sephora with acne is like the certain questions they ask or the certain things they do. There's a certain girl in Sephora, I think she knows I don't really mess with her like that because there's been a couple incidents where she was like mad rude and I had to like check her like one time she asked me why I was coming back so early to buy the perfume that I just bought. And I was like, girl, I spray it like body spray. She's like, don't do that. I'm like, who are you talking to? I forgot what I said, but I remember like blacking out and like snapping. Like, who are you telling? Girl, it's my money. Anyways, I went in there maybe like a week ago and I'm looking at body care. This girl wants to come up to me and ask me if I need any help with my skin. If you need any skincare help, I'm a licensed esthetician. I said, that's cool, yeah. Girl, I wasn't even looking at skincare. I wasn't even near the skincare. That was rude. And then the girl that just got done helping me, she was pretty amazing. She definitely was not trying to be rude. She was just trying to ask questions. But the first thing she asked was like, you want full coverage, right? Yeah, I, I, sure. Go, yeah, I guess. We, we gotta cover this up, right? Yeah. Anyways, she was super sweet, but she just wanted to make sure I was getting what I wanted. And she told me about a whole different foundation than the other lady. Hmm? Okay, so you know the lady that we just got done yeah. talking to at the Cole Sephora? Yeah. She was suggesting that foundation to me, but couldn't really match me right, mm -hmm. and didn't really care. She was like, this is good. Well, this girl actually matched me correctly and actually asked me a lot more questions. Asked me, how do you like this? How do you like that? Is that good? Is that good? And I believe she got me the right foundation. So I got NARS. I got NARS Light Reflecting Foundation in the color Fiji. So they have this automatic matcher and I have acne. So I'm really like weird about things touching my skin. And I was like, is it gonna touch my face? She said, yeah, it is. I said, well, can you spray it with some alcohol? Well, it's already disinfected, but I will, I will. I'm like, thank you, because I'm like really paranoid about stuff touching my face. So when she does it, she goes and grabs the match, and she was like, that don't look like your skin tone. And so she matched me her dang self, which was super cool because they didn't do that last time. They were just like, I mean, this seems like a match. Hey, it says it's gonna match. <laughs> Anyways, so yeah, that is one thing I really do not like about going to Sephora. If you're not dressed up or you have like acne prone skin, Sometimes they act real funny. And I also do not like when an employee is following me around the store, babe. I'm not here to steal anything. I'm the same way. It's like low-key kind of a pet peeve. Like, it you is. Really, you really think I'm out here pocketing some stuff? And we're not. Some stuff. What the heck? What did I just say? <laughs> and I'm not the only one that feels that way because when I looked on the reviews at that location, there was so many people saying the same thing. Some lady used some curse words because she was so upset about them following her around the store. It's just like certain things I just be like, I know what you're doing. Trust me, I know what you're doing, but I can promise you I'm not here to steal. So yeah, I got my little foundation and then I just repurchased my Whey Body Wash. This is the Whey Body Cleanser in the scent St. Barks. Oh my gosh, y'all. Vacay is only a shower away. This body cleanser is infused with our St. Barks scent that has notes of dragon fruit, orange blossom, tuberose, and musk. So you can enjoy paradise all year long. Girl, I'm about to put these groceries away. 
and get to smelling great. Girl, my apartment is becoming a mess again. Please don't judge a sister. I love when I'm in front of good lighting though because my skin is progressing every single day on Accutane. I am so grateful. I am so excited for what the future holds with my skin and everything. Um, yeah, let's start going over these groceries, putting them away. I'm gonna go eat at my mama crib real quick. Lock it, come here baby, so I can show you a little haircut. No, Essence! So I got her cut shorter because I feel like it looks richer. So this is what she's looking like. She's so cute. I wanna insert the picture, the little picture they took of her, of her at the hotel that she was at or the little groomer that she was at. I always get them groomed there and then I finally got them boarded for the first time. And I guess they just had the most fun in the whole entire world. And then Miss Essence, she don't look as cute no more because she had a little potty accident so we had to clean off her her legs and stuff. I'll insert her picture as well. Look at Essence, they're cute. Oh, your breath. They're cute. Oh, goodness. Here, Jordan. Oh, you smell like wet dog, girl. Get away from me. She just got in from outside. So yeah, I'll go ahead and insert their pictures. Why am I getting so hot today? Babe, can you turn on the heat? That is so embarrassing. I have to look back at footage to see that I just said, I'm so hot, can you turn on the heat? And he did. He turned on the heat, which made it that much worse. Go ahead and let her paws dry in her cage. Y'all, my floors get so gross and nasty when they come straight in from outside and they're paw never again never again so yeah they are looking super cute right now yes ma'am gotta have the puppies looking good okay now let's get into my grocery haul avocados i got some large shrimp i got some little thin steaks because they were on sale i got a nice little deal on those i got some steakhouse ranch because honestly i've been super picky with ranch lately so i'm hoping that's like the good stuff i got some chicken noodle soup jordan and i really love chicken noodle soup i got some chili because i want to go ahead and make some chili cheese fries with my homemade cheese sauce i got two different facial cleansers one for me and one for my mom girl we both forgot our facial cleansers so we had to go out to grand rapids and book a little hotel overnight for golden gloves my brother is a boxer so he fought at the golden gloves we both forgot our cleanser and we're also both out of our regular CeraVe cleansers so the next morning I was like don't worry about it I'm gonna go ahead and get us our little facial cleansers the next time I see them she was like thank you but I didn't forget my cleanser I was betting on you to have it because I don't never forget my facial care products girl but I used it that morning so I forgot it I got some mayo I got some cream cheese I got some pork chops I got some chicken breasts I got these little doggy vitamins because might as well. So I got these good morning daily vitamin treats for the dogs for their overall body health or whatever the heck. I got some green 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 greens. <laughs> I got some cheese. I got some waffle fries for the chili cheese fries. I got some dog treats, coffee. Jordan and I love country time. So I went ahead and got some country time. I got some beef hides for the dogs. I got two of my favorite energy drinks right now. The Ghost Sour Green Apple, the Warhead Sour Green Apple. Oh my gosh, that tastes amazing. Glass cleaner, Parmesan cheese, yes ma'am. I got some bread for avocado toast. I got some smoked Gouda cheese. I got some eggs. <laughs> Dang, it just keeps going. How much did I buy? I bought a bag of frozen broccoli because we go through broccoli very fast. I got these baby shrimp because I want to make noodles with this. Look at these little baby shrimp. Oh my gosh, they're tiny. I got pink trash bags. Y'all know I love my pink trash bags. Gotta have it. Triscuit, boar's head, kosher dill pickles, egg noodles. Never had them, but I really want to try them. Olive oil cooking spray. Thank you for handing me all of this. And my favorite Capri Suns, the lemonade kinds. And last but not least, thank the Lord. Lemons, because lemons go by like water in this household. Black beans, I got two cans of black beans because black beans always come in handy with like any meal. Tomato paste, because it's good for like pasta if you mix it with like heavy cream and like pasta water and butter and stuff like that. I never had this before. I cannot wait. I usually get the Ghirardelli, but this is like the good, good, good stuff. This is a Torani pure made caramel sauce. Yum, diddy, yum, diddy, yum. And if you guys did not watch my recent video, go ahead and do so because I organized my refrigerator in there. Hopefully I'm not making it dirty again. Why do you got a whole open bowl of pasta in there? 
Oh, that was the one I had yesterday. I was gonna eat it again today. You didn't finish your food? Uh, you didn't really eat then. I organized my fridge. I mean, it's slowly starting to look bad again, but hey, I organized it. So I'm gonna go ahead and start putting away all of these groceries and I finally get to eat. It is 2.22, I haven't eaten all day, but my mom made me a meal. I also forgot to show you guys that I got this super huge 80 pack of Sunkissed fruit snacks. I believe these used to be my favorite fruit snacks in the world. So I went ahead and paid the price. They were like $18, but I did it. As y'all can tell, I did organize all of this. Well, Jordan helped me so much. We got this done in like 3.5 seconds. Um, I just want us to go ahead and organize it for the thumbnail. But I didn't show you guys these. I used to be addicted to these when I was younger. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I always eat like fruit snacks and stuff like that at night time so your girl cannot wait anyways that's the overview of all the groceries i'm gonna go ahead and put these away real quick though thank the lord for my mom she made me a nice home cooked meal mm -hmm, girl she made my steak just how i like it she packed it up for me so i could come home and eat oh girl i'm gonna go ahead and smash this down we got steak we got smoked rice and we got some broccoli i'm gonna go ahead and put some lemon on top mm baby it's gonna be amazing all right girl so it is time for your girl to go ahead and hop up in the shower the food was amazing i feel amazing i'm full it was a healthy meal so it's nice energy depending on what you eat it can either make you tired or it can give you energy and also depending on what you eat you have to drink a lot of water after eating because eating can dehydrate you so you want to go ahead and rehydrate with water a lot of the times we're tired because we haven't had enough water if i'm talking a little weird my lip is cracked right in the middle I have probably said this like 50 times on my channel, but Accutane is literally no joke, but I'm so grateful for it. Anyway, I drink a water bottle and then I put a water bottle in this cup. So I'm going to go ahead and drink my liquid chlorophyll. This is up on my Amazon storefront. I use this for body odor and detox and skin benefits. So I just always go ahead and put two drops in there. Or should I say two full squirts? I don't know. Mix it around and girl, we got us a nice refreshing deodorizing drink. Mmm, I love chlorophyll. A cup a day will keep the odor away. Why are you looking sad? She's sad because I locked her out of the bathroom. Not locked her out, but I kind of closed the door a little bit. Look how beautiful my baby! Oh, I love showing her off, y'all, because she's perfect. Because she's perfect. Oh, you're so perfect. Mm. Mm. You got a new harness. Okay, y'all, so this is my best friend i love her so much oh my gosh her sleep in the bed with me everything we took a long nap yesterday y'all but i had ordered her a new harness because hers is starting to look super um grubby i also ordered these dental sticks on amazon because essence her breath stinks disgustingly you want one of these you want one i just give them to lock it because she likes them you want it you can have one because you're so polite Just chew on it. It'll help your teeth. You're leaving me? You're leaving me? Oh, you're leaving me. I cannot stand when my lip is cracked. Like, it's bothering me so bad, y'all. It just feels so terrible. And you just see this red line down my lip. Like, somebody just... Cool. Girl, let me tell y'all about this right here. Let me tell you about this right here. Let me tell you about this right here. If you have animals, and honestly, even if you don't, it's a concentrated odor eliminator. I use this to clean. I use it as an air freshener. I use it to clean my dog cages. This right here, if you have dogs, or if you have odor in your home, Oh my gosh, this stuff is amazing. This stuff smells like straight up oranges. It makes four gallons of cleaner. I don't know where four gallons came from. It makes one gallon. This is just an odor eliminator concentrate. I get this on Amazon, my mom put me on. It even works for like kid pee. One of my niece and nephews had like an accident and my mom used this. And when I tell y'all, it got rid of all the odor. If you have maybe even smokers in your house, any odor, this is going to eliminate. You need this on Amazon. I'm gonna go ahead and put that on my Amazon storefront. And then last but not least, I went ahead and purchased Lock it, a new harness. This is my favorite harness for my dogs, you guys. It comes with a leash. This is already on my Amazon storefront. And then a buckle. And then you can unstrap them at any point in the day. So 
she's got a new little harness too this is going to be a super simple quick shower honestly kind of like a rinse off because all i'm gonna do is cleanse my body one time and yes i said one time on accutane my skin is too dry to double cleanse it's crazy but i gotta do what i gotta do so i'm gonna clean my body with this way saint bard's body cleanser it is literally almost gone and i just bought this i have been using this every single day that's why i bought a new one today because that's gonna be gone in literally no time it smells so beautiful and do not mind my super messy shower oh my gosh do not mind it i want to scrub my body so bad but i can't really scrub my body too much on accutane because it's already like an exfoliant so i only do it for like my shower and spa videos because you cannot miss exfoliation for that so that's the only time i ever exfoliate honestly on accutane so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and wash my body up with that body wash and then i'm gonna go ahead and cleanse my lady bits with this so fresh and clean intimate health nutra blast feminine wash i have have this on my Amazon storefront. This stuff is amazing and it does not irritate me. Okay, so not only am I going to be using the body wash, I am also going to be using the matching body cream. This just came out and when I tell you guys this stuff smells amazing and it is definitely a lot more moisturizing than the Melrose Place body cream. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and use this body cream today and we're not going to stop there. So I'm sure you guys know that Sol de Janeiro just dropped a brand new body spray and they are replacing it for the blue body spray, the Coco Colada whatever the heck it's called i'm not sure but the blue body spray they have replaced with this and if you know you know that last summer they made three limited edition body sprays and this must have been the best rated one i was literally just telling you guys about this it smells amazing it's a very tropical coconut milk and jasmine kind of smell it smells amazing and i loved the packaging of course they didn't keep the packaging but they did keep the fragrance they just brought this fragrance back out and it is literally the same exact fragrance as this one so i'm gonna go ahead and team up the body cream with this body spray because they go together so freaking well and then for my perfume i'm going to be wearing aquatic coconut so we are going for a full tropical vibe this is literally the same exact scent as beach walk by replica if you know you know that beach walk smells like suntan lotion sunscreen sand coconut like it just gives the best summer vibes ever so if you are familiar with beach walk by replica and you like it but that price is looking a little bit too large girl get this i'm gonna go ahead and link down below dossier's website this is a collab with dossier thank you so much dossier i love dang he out there making all kind of noise y'all he's washing my dishes right now but um yes thank you so much dossier i love you guys' fragrances if you are unfamiliar with Dossier, Dossier is a perfume company that makes our favorite high-end fragrances for cheap. They make it possible to smell amazing on a budget. They have fragrances from Chanel to YSL to Tom Ford for a fraction of the price. Dossier sent me out five fragrances this month. I received Floral Lavender, which is literally the exact same thing as YSL Libre. If you know, you know. You know, obviously in Libre, but I think it's just Libre. Libre. Just say it, Libre. But I just want to be extra and say Libre. Okay, okay. For this size in the Saint Libre, you would pay this. In this size with Dossier, the same exact thing. You will pay this. Um, at this point, let's be smart. For all my sisters and brothers out there that currently just cannot afford expensive fragrances, this is the way to go. I also got Musky Musk. This is the exact same thing as Juliet has a gun, not a perfume. Beautiful. 
You know some fragrances just really need musk? Well this right here, mix this in with a perfume you feel needs it, you will be good to go and smelling amazing, okay? And then last but not least, I did tell y'all Dossier sent me five fragrances, but I gave my mama two. She's gonna go ahead and review those for you guys later on. So I have three, she has two. So once again, last but not least for me, I have Aquatic Coconut, which is the exact same thing as Beach Walk, like I showed you all earlier. And also, I'm not blindly saying that these fragrances smell exactly like the original. I'm saying it because I know. I have YSL Libre and I also have Julia Has a Gun and Not a Perfume. So I know these fragrances and those Dossier fragrances smell exactly like these. Okay, so if you have a favorite high-end perfume, go ahead and check out that link down below. They might just have it for a fraction of the price. Once again, thank you so much Dossier. I love you guys so much. You guys are amazing. Y'all be hooking some sisters up. Oh, smelling luxury for cheap okay that is dossier y'all probably don't know this but like one of my least favorite parts about hygiene is moisturizing i literally cannot stand having to moisturize my whole entire body i don't know why i just feel like it's such a hassle and it's just so annoying but i always do it either way but girl with this body cream i have been loving moisturizing my body it's something about the packaging of whey products that makes me like want to moisturize my body even if it doesn't need it like girl I'm not playing. Let's start moisturizing, girl. I love this body cream. At first, I thought the um, Melrose Place body cream was moisturizing until I noticed that once it absorbs into your skin, your skin doesn't even feel moisturized anymore. This one's definitely more moisturizing, but it's still not like crazy moisturizing to the point where I feel extremely moisturizing, especially on Accutane. So I just use a good amount, even though this stuff is expensive, like I just want to use it so bad that if I'm going to use it, I got to go ahead and use it right. So yeah girl i'm layering because we did the body wash now we're doing the body cream and then um we're gonna do the body spray which is gonna match so well it's gonna be an amazing combination and then the beach walk on top or we can call it aquatic coconut but i'm gonna go ahead and moisturize the rest of my body off of camera and girl i'll be back for fragrance all right so we will do body spray first of course It feels so nice to be able to like freely spray this body spray because I have been savoring that pink one because of course they didn't have it anymore. I'm so happy. A lot of people are really upset about the fact that they didn't just add this. Instead, they switched it. My washer is right here, you guys. So if you hear it, I'm so sorry. But um, yeah, they didn't add it, but they switched it out for another body spray, which a lot of people are very upset about because the blue one was their favorite. But for me, this is like way better. So I ain't mad about it, okay? And then next we have our perfume. I am about to be smelling so summery and it is not a summer day at all. It is so gloomy and ugly. But why not have summer vibes going on? Girl, I can feel like I'm on a beach. I may not be, but I can at least imagine it, picture it, smell it. Something, girl, something. I just quickly ran to my P.O. box, y'all, before it closed. So look forward to me doing a little P.O. box unopening or unboxing in my next vlog. I really need to stop with all this dang caffeine. I'm pouring me half of this ghost energy drink the warhead sour green apple one this stuff tastes so amazing especially on ice i'm splitting it with jordan because girl i should not be drinking another energy drink that is such a tongue twister for me energy drink energy energy drink energy drink energy drink energy drink energy drink energy drink it's because i talk so freaking fast i have to slow down if i talked regularly Right now, I feel like I'm talking so slow, but in reality, I'm talking very normal. <laughs> oh well, ooh! Ooh, that's so That was a real expression too. My face literally just made that ugliness. I'm gonna head out in about 10 minutes so I can link up with my mom and so we can buy some new perfume, girl. But I'm thinking, y'all, they always playing. Stop all that, y'all being too loud. Girl! Watch them, watch them. Oh, y'all gonna stop when I put the camera on you. Oh, I see. Oh, I see. Y'all, I literally had the most scarring moment the other day. So my lash tech was booked up all last month. So it had been a month since I got my eyelashes done. And I still had a good amount, but I needed some more for my makeup look for the fight. I'm gonna insert my outfit and my little makeup look right now. The 
outfit was pretty fly. The makeup, girl, no, because of that dang foundation. But anyways, y'all see my lashes was looking good. Great. What I did was I went and got some super wispy eyelash strips that look like extensions and I cut them up and I glued them underneath my lash. But like an idiot, like a dummy, like a straight up stupidity doodity, I glued it on my eyelash extensions. I cried and cried and cried because I really wasn't thinking straight until after the fight when I have glue all on my eyes and it wouldn't have been bad had I been able to just take my lash extensions off or had it been just my regular lashes. You can't just take lash extensions off like that, okay? So I'm crying, which the tears really did help take the lash extensions off because you cannot go into the lash salon with glue all on your lashes. And I didn't book a lash removal. It w if you get what I'm saying, I glued lashes on my eyelash extensions and I had to pull them out. Y'all do not be like me. All I had to do was reach out to my lash tech. Lash techs, they do this. They're understanding. As long as you let them know ahead of time, they can work with you. But I didn't want to do that. I wanted it done there and then. No patience having self. So, don't be like me. If anything happens, contact your lash tech. That means that a lot of my... Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That means that a lot of my real eyelashes came out. Luckily, I have an insane amount of eyelashes. They may not be the longest, but I literally have so many lashes. But it hurt. I was super sad. And it was so late, and we had to be up at 5.30 the next morning to get back here to pick up the dogs. So that was a fail. Never glue anything on your eyelash extensions unless you have, like, a removal coming up because I didn't have any removal coming up. But then... I started to pray. And as I was praying, I was crying more and more and more. And the tears made the lash extensions fly right off. I'm like, girl, I should've prayed sooner. And how he got longer lashes than me? What's going on? Let me see them lashes, girl. Look at me, handsome. Them lashes, how are they longer than mine? Why do men get the best lashes? They're not longer than yours. Yes, they are. Men get the best lashes. It's crazy. My nephews, their lashes are like an inch. I swear to freaking gosh. They're like ostrich eyelashes. And then <laughs> and then this dude has freaking curly, amazing lashes. Can I have them? Like, I really wish that was a thing. I feel violated. Boy, stop playing with me. Brush out your eyebrows before you go. Them eyebrows is noise. I ain't mean to wipe off your shine. You looking good. <laughs> looking nice and healthy. Thank you. I'm trying. <laughs> he drinking the rest of that energy drink, y'all. Oh, it's gone. Oh. Mm -hmm. oh, God. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, your breath. Bag up. Oh, smelling like under the sea. <laughs> under the sea. <laughs> Y'all need to stop the heck up. They'd be fighting for a Stop second. the heck up. Stop the heck up. I didn't even realize you said that. They're so ugly. Let's go meet my mama. All right, y'all. So my mom and I just got out of the mall. We just got our fragrances. So let's talk. See, that's what I'm talking about. Like the passenger has more lighting and then your side doesn't have it's all good. much lighting. That's the one thing that is so annoying about being a content creator is like sometimes you post something and it looks nothing like you. Oh my gosh. Yes. 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 Absolutely nothing. So my mom and I actually got the same exact fragrance. Um, we've told this story many times before, but growing up, my mom had got this cheap, fake, Jador perfume from a gas station or a corner store. It was a corner store and I yeah. thought it was real. It, it, maybe it was real. It was supposed to be real. It all smelled those real. All the perfumes were supposed to be real. They promised they were real. They wasn't real. I'm not <laughs> There's no way because how much was it? Uh, I paid mean, like. 30 bucks? No, 50, 60 bucks for it. Maybe 50? it was real. Maybe it was. Yeah. Because that's originally like 130, so yeah, no, it was fake. I'm not playing with you. I just can't wrap my mind around the fact that it's real. Anyways, so yeah, she had that. That was like her only like nice perfume growing yep. up. And they just came out with a new Jador. Woo! And it smelled good. So we got the exact same fragrance. I'll open mine if you don't want to open yours yet. I'll open it. Okay, cool. I love. Let's do it. So we both got the same exact fragrance. It's the new Jador Parfum Lou. And it smells so good. Whatever the heck it's called. Oh, he did give us the alcohol free. Oh, he did? Yeah. I hope it's gonna be okay. This better be the right fragrance. No, I'm not playing. It better be, we, we gonna go right back up in it. For real, they open. Ooh, look yep. at her. Ooh, she's so pretty. 
Oh, her necklace hanging down even further. Mom. Girl, look. Imagine having like an all white and gold bathroom Ooh. and that being like the cherry topper. Yes. I love it. Having this. like a stand with a wand too. Yes. Mm. So I'm going to go ahead and put up the notes up on the screen right now as well as a picture of the bottle. This is the newest Adore that just came out. It sprays like beautifully. I said that in the store. Oh my gosh. Mom. Oh my gosh. Let me smell. Mom, it's so pretty. It's, clean. it's so beautiful. Yes. It's so pretty. Oh my gosh, and let me tell y'all something it's real so fast. Pretty. I gotta tell y'all how much of a G my mom is. So I don't know how this stuff works. This really nice guy, he was helping us with our fragrances, blah, blah, blah. Like, if you need anything, girl, let me know. Yeah. So as soon as we said, yeah, we want that, we're talking to each other, she walks up and tries to steal his sale. I don't know how this works. So my mom was like, what'd you say? I said, no, we're working with the other guy. And she was like, well, I can't. I said, no, we're working with the other guy. We're going to let him get the sale. We'll let him get the sale. Because he approached us first. Yes. She was like, and walked away. Yeah, she was trying to steal a sale. She works at a whole different department. She's whack. Yeah, no, I wasn't going was to allow great. that. He was amazing. Amazing. He's like, like, I love you guys' energy. Like, you guys are the best. He was giving us perfume recommendations, his favorite perfumes. When I tell y'all, he was the bomb, and she was trying to be a little... <laughs> she was trying to steal a sale. A little that's, nasty. Yeah, that's that's not good. You don't you don't steal from people like that. So I was going to hook my boy up, because he was cool people. I love this. You see how her necklace hangs down more? Oh, my gosh, you guys. It goes down more. See I love that? that. That is so cute. Yeah. Yeah, because she's beautiful. Mm, that perfume smells good, baby. It does. Mm, mm. It's like mm. they did their thing on this. Mm. It's like a really, you yes. know how Jador is more deep? Yeah. This is like a lighter, soapier yes. version of it. It's so beautiful. Yes. So we got our fragrance, y'all. Yes. Thank you, sugar. I love Now, that. I want to ask you how you feel about those Dossier fragrances. I like them. Um, The one I like the most, let me see. Let's see here. So she got the the dupe for Carolina Herrera and La Vies Belle. So I know you love La Vies Belle. Yes. Does it smell like it? Gourmand Orange Blossom. Mm -hmm. That is La Vies Belle. One yes. of my mom's favorite fragrances. Does it smell like it? It does. Really close. It's really close. Really close. I've never had it. It's really close. Really close? Yes. So is it worth it? Yes. If you like La Vies Belle? Yes. Yes. Cool. Yes. So that is a dupe. The Gourmand Orange Blossom. That is a dupe. I have it up on the screen. Oh. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> that is a dupe for La Vies Belle. And then the next one was Fruity Almond. Yeah. That is a dupe for Carolina Herrera, and that smells exactly like it. That smells exactly like Carolina Herrera. Yeah. So do you like them? I love them. I would Sorry. definitely buy that, the Dossier, versus going to spend all that money. Yeah, all that money. <laughs> I'm telling you. If it don't last, then I'll just spray a little bit more. Seriously, that is so real. So yeah. yeah. Oh, Can beauty come out of ashes? All I ask is, can beauty come out of ashes? And it's only you, and it's only you. And it's only you, and it's only you, I send my only son to be with whom I love you. The wonder of it from heaven's gate, count my name, and I love you in the morning, and in the noon time, in the evening. You're my one thing, you're my dearest, he's my love note. I send my only son. Oh, I send my only baby. My only, my only baby. I love you all 
So I send my son, my only son. I send my baby boy, yeah. I send my baby boy, my baby boy, yeah. My baby boy, save you. Girl, I want you. And I, I love you. Don't need you, but I want you. There's little I have for you. Mm. Okay, so I'm not gonna lie, I definitely did not eat enough today. This is what I'm gonna eat tonight, y'all. It's just Triscuits, some mayonnaise. I know it sounds gross, but it's so good. With smoked Gouda cheese, smoked turkey breast, and then some kosher dill pickles by Boar's Head. So delicious with accent on top. Oh my gosh, y'all, I love this so much. It's so delicious. If I'm still hungry after I eat this though, which I most likely will, I'm just gonna go ahead and eat some chicken noodle soup. And that should be all right. That should be good. But when your girl starts getting tired, I start looking wild so i'm not gonna show my face i'm gonna go ahead and end off today's vlog tomorrow because i did buy some clothes at the mall today i really didn't want to film i really just wanted to take in the moment which you know is always amazing i'm just drinking um, a hydration packet right now y'all I didn't have mine today. But anyway, I bought some clothes. This is one of the shirts, it's so cute. I'm gonna use it as like a sleeping gown because it's literally adorable. So I'm gonna go ahead and haul that tomorrow. And then I'm gonna go ahead and head out. But you guys, I had so much fun with my mom. So much fun with my mom. You guys, I'm talking too fast again. We stopped at my older brother's house. I got to see my nephew, figure out what the heck he wants for his birthday. Hopefully they have it in stock near me. And then I went over to her house and she made me some guacamole. It was so delicious, you guys. Oh, amazing. Good morning to you. The birds are chirping, my room is a mess, but I wanna talk about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I didn't like that angle, so let's try this angle. Bow! Somebody's calling me, one second. Hello? All right, I'm back. Now, let's go ahead and start hauling these clothes that I got from H&M. Okay, so first things first, we have here a dress. This is going to be like a strapless sundress or whatever. I don't really know, y'all. And as you guys know, I got this super big tennis Mickey Mouse kind of shirt. It's super cute. It was very comfortable last night. Yes, ma'am. I really love this dress. This is super adorable. And I love the pattern of this dress, you guys. Like, I am obsessed. My favorite part is that it has this super, like, rubbery band around the top so it stays up. I'm gonna keep pulling it up. It's gonna stay there and stick to my skin. Girl, we love it. Of course, it's gonna be so much cuter when I don't have a bra on with it or when I have, like, a strapless bra with it. But but then I got this super cute like cargo skirt and I feel like it'll go cute with this shirt and then this beret thing. Now this beret thing can also go with this dress. Okay, maybe not. But like, I feel like it'll go cute with that outfit that I just showed you guys. Kind of a fail. So basically this is what needs to happen. Either I need a whole new shirt, most likely, or I need to shrink this shirt, wash it and dry it because it's just way too loose. I need it to be more tightly fitted. The skirt is perfect and this is perfect. I'm getting hot with all of these clothes, but y'all can just kind of like imagine how cute this is gonna go with this outfit. It's super cute. I like it with like a super cute little bag, the perfect shoes, the glasses, the jewelry. Everything has to come together. It's super basic, of course, right now, but I'm seeing the vision. And also, real fast, I remember when I was finally able to start affording clothes and I was like shopping on camera and stuff like that and I was so excited about my new clothes. I remember y'all trying to throw shade, talking about some, if I could dress her, she would love her outfits. Or if I could dress her, her style would be off the... First of all, who told you that your style is cute to me? If I want it, I can have it. If I wanted it, I would do it. I like to dress how I want to dress. So trust and believe your style, that's cute, that's cute. But maybe it's not for me. I don't know why people feel like you would do so much better if you just listen to them. If you just do what they do. Girl, no. I ain't had no problem getting through life being me this far. Anyways, I just thought I'd go ahead and say that because I love my style, personally. It's my style, of course. If I didn't love it, I wouldn't be wearing it. But the length of this skirt is so cute and so perfect. I'm gonna style this so well. And last but not least, I got some super 
super cute little summer shorts. You can never go wrong with white shorts unless they're see-through. And great, these ones are. So I'll have to wear like boy short underwear. Anyway, they're cute, you guys. I went ahead and got these. They're also cute for like a swimsuit cover-up or if you're going to like the beach and you want to go ahead and put like some uh, shorts over it. Super cute. And then last but not least, it's not clothing, but I got my mom this super cute little bumblebee. I actually should have got one. I don't know why I didn't get one. This is the cutest thing in the world. I got my nephew a giraffe one and I got my mom a bee one. And I'm like, why didn't I get one? The bee one is the cutest one. I'm so happy my mom agreed with me because my nephew was like, no, the giraffe's the best. I'm like, I literally will punch you in your face. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh oh. If any of y'all think that I'm too aggressive towards my nephew, I promise you that is literally our relationship. Like, we love, but I'm, like, really, like, hardcore with him. And it's, like, joke hardcore. Like, I'm like, boy, I'll punch you in your face. He'd be like, you ain't gonna do nothing. You ain't gonna do nothing, fool. And I'm like, boy, I'll literally lock you in the closet and, like, never, I've never said that. But, like, I'm just giving an example <laughs> that it's all jokes and we love it. Anyways, so that was my H&M haul. Now I'm stuck with this tacky outfit. I'm just kidding. I'm going to go ahead and change it. Like I told y'all, I'm not really trying to show my face too much this morning because I'm looking crazy. And my hair is slicked back. That means my forehead looks big, you know, light skin problems. I used to be so insecure about my forehead. And I'm like, girl, why? There's nothing wrong with it. There was so many things I was insecure about growing up. I was insecure about my legs being so skinny. So I would wear like three pairs, two pairs of stockings like thick stockings what do you call them stockings leg i don't know they're thick and i wore those underneath my pants which caused odor because i was sweating but i was just like girl i don't care i'm tired of looking skinny none of my skinny jeans are skinny on me i mean the list goes on you look back and be like are, are you serious really really wow so yeah that was today's vlog you guys i hope you guys enjoyed it i'm gonna go ahead and finish off my coffee I gotta work today, so it's time for your girl to go ahead and head up out of here. I love every single one of you guys. Thank you so much for watching my video. I overthink things and I'd be like, maybe I was being a little mean about this, and maybe I was being a little mean about that. Like, maybe I was being a little mean about that Sephora employee that walked up to me and was like, if you need any skincare advice. No, I wasn't, because I feel the same way right now. And then me just saying, like, I don't want your style. Like, I didn't feel like maybe I'm being too mean about certain things, but like at the same time, I'm not. Bye guys. I love you. Overthinking is bad. Bye.